everybody what's going on so today in this video we're going to talk about how to set up and tie on a Carolina rig uh, so we're going to basically just I'm going to show you guys all the stuff you need and how to tie it on with the knots that I use and all that stuff so beforehand um, it would have been Tuesday me and Big Bait Baker went fishing and I only caught one he only caught one bass I caught a couple bluegill and a yellow belly catfish and he caught a couple bluegill and one small bass. Um, now the bass that I caught was actually on one of his rods. We actually set up some bluegill, some small bluegill, um, waiting on a big fish, whether it be a catfish, a pike, muskie, whatever. Um, I was sitting there retying a lure on this rod right here, actually, and um, he hollers at me because he had just sat down to catch some more bait. And uh, I look over at his rod, and the butt of his rod that was sitting on the ground was about six inches in the air, and the rod was sliding in the water. Uh, so I ran over there, grabbed it, set the hook. It was probably maybe a two-pound bass. Uh, didn't take any video of it or didn't really uh, take any pictures of it either, just because it wasn't really a uh, decent-sized fish or anything. I didn't really think it was worth videoing. Um, caught some bluegill, caught a small yellow belly as well. Um, didn't get no big bites, didn't really get much bass fishing uh, with lures uh, bites at all. Um, neither one of us caught anything on lures, which was quite surprising. Um, I did use a black slammer worm, which I'll show you the exact one here in a little bit. But I, on the first cast, I lost a fish, and that was the only bite I had on lures that day. I guess it was just one of those bad days where it's hard to get bit. So, we'll go ahead and get into this. So... The setup that I have here, this line is 20 pound main line. Now this here, a little bit big, but in the, if you're on a big fish lake where you know there's some big bass anywhere down in Texas or Tennessee area, 20 pound line is what most people down there throw. So what you need, now this here, you can pick these up at almost every Walmart. I've seen them in several Walmarts. They're uh, eagle claw uh, pack things. They have hooks, weights, uh, barrel swivels, little beads. They have all kinds of stuff. Now, I've literally used almost everything in here. All that's got in it now is just so, a few small beads and some barrel swivels. So, we're going to dig in here. and We're going to get the medium-sized barrel swivel out of here. Just that guy right there. And we'll get a green bead. And I'll show you guys what that bead does here pretty soon. So, we'll go ahead and we'll take and we'll tie on that barrel swivel. Or actually, no, sorry. We'll put the weight on first. Now, since I'm not really fishing anywhere super deep water here, or I'm just kind of really fishing my pond, because believe it or not, I've never caught a fish on a Carolina rig. My brother has. My little 11-year-old brother has caught a small fish on a Carolina rig Senko, but I have yet to catch a fish on a Carolina rig. So I got a little 8th ounce bullet weight right there. Nothing real fancy, just an 8th ounce lead weight. Then we'll take our, actually we'll take our bead first. Put the bead on there. So now we have our weight and bead. And then we'll go ahead and we'll tie on the swivel. Now the knot that I use, if I remember correctly, is called a Palomar knot. Now I'm not big on knot names. I only use one of two knots. Those are just the two that I use. One of them is a clinch knot and if I remember right this one here is called a Palomar knot. Basically you go through the eyelet twice, you make your loop, then you go back over your main line three times then you go back through that loop and you tie it tight. Very simple, very easy. That's the knot that my dad showed me back when I first started fishing. That's not even bass fishing. Just when I first started fishing in general, um, he showed me that knot and I've been using it for however long. So, since we got our weight and everything on here, that's basically what it'll set up and look like right there. Now, if you are wondering what that bead does, is it A, it protects the knot from the weight, and if you hear that, that knocking sound, that attracts the fish, and even when you just 
even when you're just doing that, it has a sound and it helps those fish find it. So something that a lot of people don't do. Now this line here is a little bit light for it. Um, I would probably go 10 to 12 pound line, but this is the only line that I could find and it is eight pounds. Now, don't do this because, especially if you're on big fish lakes, there's only, the only big fish that's in here is about four pounds. The rest of them are in between uh, like 10 inches to two or three pounds. So I don't have to worry about catch, hooking into any 10 pounders that I know of, but eight pound is all right as far as that goes. Um, but if you're on a lake like uh, Sam Rayburn or something like that, um, Chickamauga, one of those big, big bass lakes, definitely don't go with 8 pound because as soon as you go with 8 pound line, you're going to hook into a giant. Because Especially if it's me. That's the way my luck usually goes. Usually I'll go with, oh, don't worry. I'm not going to hook anything big. I won't worry about it. That's what my cousin did. I'll tell you that story here as we're doing this. But my cousin, Big Bait Baker, you guys have seen him on almost... A crap load of my videos, not all of them, but a lot of my videos. You guys have seen him on them. His personal best, he just caught it this year actually. He was bluegill fishing, okay, with a ice rod and four pound line with a small cork and a size one circle hook. And he was bluegill fishing with four pound line and he ends up catching a five pound eight ounce bass. Then me and him are out there, me and him and his dad are out there and we're catching a uh, yellow belly catfish. They're a lot of fun to catch especially if you can get on a, a big bunch of them. Um, I actually this year have caught my first yellow belly. I have never caught one until I went with them to go fishing and the bass weren't biting so we just started yellow belly fishing. And uh, what's funny about it is he was using that same ice rod for yellow bellies. And he says, oh, I got a bite. So he reaches up there and he grabs his rod. And he's using the same circle hook, size one circle hook. And uh, just with a bottom rig with night crawlers waiting for a little yellow belly to come by. Pretty soon he sets the hook on this fish. It comes up and it looks to us like it's a giant bass and I'm like oh my god this is gonna happen again now I wasn't with him when he caught his personal best but he did call me like as he was holding the fish and told me about it and I thought it was pretty cool so then he hooks into this fish now me and his dad are swearing up and down this is a giant bass because it because it literally jumped like two feet up in the air and we're thinking instantly when it jumps like that we're thinking bass but no, it's not a bass. It's a blue buffalo carp. Or no, I think it was just a normal car buffalo carp. If I remember right, it was just a normal buffalo carp. I'd never seen one of these. I'd only seen like grass carp and common carp and stuff like that while bass fishing. I had never seen a buffalo. So me being the only one that had rubber boots, which I'm actually wearing right now, I jumped down there in the water. Oh, I just tied on the hook as well. Palomar not say not. Um, but I jump in the water. And uh, he's still using four pound line. And this little ice rod. And he catches a five pound, four ounce buffalo carp. There you go, I guess. Light line catches big fish, evidently. But here we are. Here is the total rig. I just got it set up as I was talking. We have a undetermined length leader. I didn't even check it. There's the weight, bead, and swivel. Then we have our leader to our 4 um Eagle Claw hook and our 8-inch black, blue, silver slammer worm. So there you go. That's how you set it up. You, you put your weight and your bead on. What the bead does, you don't always need it. Um, but what the bead does is it helps to protect the knot because sometimes that, weights, that weight slides up and hits the knot. And it, it, you really need it with the bigger weights, like half ounce, three quarter, all the way up to a full ounce. Um, I've seen people throw full ounce on like really deep water lakes. This here is just a little eighth ounce because I'm not. I'm just literally fishing a small pond. 
um, just trying to catch my first fish with a Carolina rig. So I just got a little eighth ounce. I don't really need the bead, but it's more there for added attraction. Um, something else that a lot of people don't do is use lighter line. Now what that lighter line does is if you hook something with this bait, the actual hook, and you have 12 pound line on a 12 pound main line, you know what I mean, like both setups are 12 pound, you'll most likely end up breaking your whole rig off. So there goes your weight, your bead, your swivel, your hook, and your bait. This way you're not losing as much, you're just losing a hook and a soft plastic. Um, you'll save your weight and your barrel swivel and stuff like that. So I hope you guys like this video. If I do end up catching a fish, I will video it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys want me to do a, another in-depth episode, um, let me know what baits you want me to do because I've been kind of thinking about a bunch of different baits and don't really have one yet. Uh, so let me know if you guys have an uh, idea for the next in-depth episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.